my name is Mbwana Ali, I'm from Tanzania. Uh, grew up there until about age eight. Uh, spent uh, time in uh, boarding schools in northern Tanzania and Kenya. Uh, and then really kind of uh, got exposed to the West, uh, spending time in the UK. I was there for 11 years, so high school, uh, first, uh, first degree in electrical engineering. Um, and then worked in aerospace for, uh, uh, for, the, for about three years. And to round up my sort of my technical side, particularly working in an aerospace military industry, I wanted to go somewhere very business, but still very tech. So that's why I went to Stanford. Um, and I was happy to, to get in and, and, and spend uh, two years there um, uh, and uh, really kind of get that Silicon Valley exposure. Um, and then I spent uh, uh, three, uh, two and a half, three years in, at Microsoft as a product manager. I interned there first in the summer and then I went back full time. Uh, I product managed Excel and Access uh, and the business intelligence products for the enterprise suite. But something told me to go back to Silicon Valley. I kind of uh, wanted to you know, get exposed to the startup ecosystem. Um, folks and colleagues I've met uh, in Silicon Valley pulled me back to the Bay Area. So I worked in venture capital and then IO Ventures where I worked out was a more boutique model. My thing was, okay, you can help us as an associate entrepreneur in residence. Uh, at IO Ventures, having an accelerator, but also you should look at Africa where your expertise really truly lies. Uh, or at least they wanted me to become, at this point I hadn't actually been back to Africa. You know, at this point, maybe 15 years away, but I had that connection. So I started building those connections, uh, working on a startup myself actually. I tried to build an e-commerce travel company. Uh, didn't really work. Uh, and one of the main reasons actually, I actually blame the fact that my angel investor I got in Tanzania didn't understand how to uh, grow, uh, grow and support a, a tech business. And that's where the light bulb went off. I was like, wait a minute, if the you know, internet and, um, and the general mobile uh, uh, adoption was growing in Africa and it was gonna be the last frontier, there's gonna be a need for venture capitalists on the ground to understand how to uh, scale local businesses. So that was the first inkling of how I thought about how to uh, maybe uh, apply myself in the venture space in Africa. Uh, about, you know, so this is about 2010. About two years later, we formally founded the fund. I, I worked with Paul Bregel, who was one of the partners at, Savannah, uh, sorry, at IO Ventures. Uh, Eric Herzman, who um, uh, it was the founder of I, Shahidi and iHub, and we came together uh, and, and basically had a two-part fund, accelerator model, basically adapting what I learned in the Silicon Valley with Accelerator IO for the African environment and also seed funds. So uh, taking, a, a, you know, for the companies that are much more a, um, later stage, or at least seed and more investable. Accelerator is actually a true application of teaching and developing talent in Africa in the space of just a brand new ecosystem of tech at the time. So Nairobi being the epicenter, that's where we kind of launched. Uh, and yeah, since 2012 and 2000 and, uh, well, until now, we invested in 26 companies of the first fund. Um, um, those companies have raised community, community about $50 million um, from other investors outside, outside of us uh, in follow-on and co-investments. Um, yeah, and uh, we've invested in Kenya as the main country with nine investments, but Nigeria, South Africa, uh, Ghana, Uganda, um, Zimbabwe, and Tanzania.